Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Ruby Mitchell Robinson. Um, very intrigued by this card. Another good Evo card who gets the ability to shoot with the Evo. Um, Y'all know Mitchell Robinson, really good dunker and very great defensive player. So him having the ability to shoot the ball as well makes him a really intriguing card. I think he's basically a budget to Kembe, maybe even a better release. There is one flaw with this card, though, is that he's not super fast. 73 speed is not great. So uh, if there is one flaw, it's definitely that. With that being said, before we into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 16,000 sorry 17,000 subscriber mark on the channel I upload every single day tons of daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it so Mitchell Robinson's evil I think was 25 threes he's another one of the ones that's tough to hit or 23s I think another guy who had a 31 three ball but with his evil 87 offense 95 defense seven footer with a uh, 81 three ball the shoe gets it to an 85 uh, as well as a 90 free throw 85 standing and driving dunk pretty decent post game besides the post fade uh, 87 close to 89 mid range not a ball handler at all but 90 block 90 interior 84 steel and um almost 80 interior or perimeter 90 rebounding speed wise like i said it's a 73 that's not amazing 79 lateral quickness also isn't incredible 84 vert 86 strength uh 90 stamina overall solid statistical card not insane um i think his player build's gonna be really good and i think badge wise is super solid as well he's got gold aerial wizard master posterizer rise up catch and shoot claymore corner special scray machine anchor chase down post lockdown pogo stick box up his rebound chaser brick wall precision dunker and movable enforcer silver back down punisher drop stepper post spin inner Scepter, Hook Specialist, and Bulldozer. So basically, interior badges on both ends of the court and the shooting badges, which is basically very similar to a guy like Nick Claxton or Jared Allen. All three of these guys, I think, are very, very similar cards. And I think uh, while the biggest flaw with this card is probably that he's a tiny bit on the slower end, he's got a big player build. His release is absolutely money. I mean, I think he's got the best release between Claxton. Uh, I mean, as a whole, this release is... I think the timing is weird. Oh, yeah, I think it's on push. Yes, I could tell. I could tell that was not right. Um, but... Mitch Robinson's release is cash every single year. It's really good. I uh, think Taco Fall. Taco Fall always has a Mitchell Robinson base. Um, very, very good jump shot. Super smooth and easy to green. So you're looking at a really good catch and shoot shooter who's also a really good defensive card. And I understand he's not crazy fast, but he's also a very good dunker. So overall, Mitchell Robinson does like three of the most important things at the center position incredibly well. Defend, shoot, and dunk. So um, that is really, really valuable. I guess rebound as well. So that'd be four things. So overall, I think he's going to be a really good card. And I think he's right there with Nick Claxton. I mean, these are the two best budget centers in the game right now for sure amazing card once you get him evoed um and i have a, a video on my channel on how to evo these low three-pointer players but hope y'all are ready because i'm excited to use this card i think it's really good stop into a game Let's see what mitchell robinson can do all right hopping into this game we are matched up against kareem um penny hardaway kobe i mean this dude's got or uh, kakeem i'm sorry penny kobe all those guys he's got all the dogs on his squad for sure this is going to be a tough matchup no doubt about it so let's see what we can do here first possession of the game where spacing is just not very good but mitchell robinson actually kind of comes open at the end of possession drive the ball i was hoping to draw a foul wasn't able to he's not really going to do much as a shot creator with the ball in his hands that was more out of desperation than anything else there uh and that's not an ideal first start to the game i will say but so there we go this is pretty good defense hopefully we can like i guess i'm gonna help down a no that's a bad shot beautiful good good stuff by lebron good defense and uh he gets the board as well let's go pick and pop here and see what we can create attack downhill potentially um we do have a mismatch i'll take it out and uh, i'll just take my mid-range mitchell robinson open midi i missed it what the that's tough unfortunate miss there did not mean to miss that shot but it is what it is um let's see what we can get going here beautiful stuff good defense oh my never mind good behind the back he gets down for a dunk I was out of position there, and we are not starting off too hot there. Missing the mid-range, and then kind of some poor defense as well. So don't love to see that. Uh, attack downhill here. Mitchell, catch and shoot. He's got a really good release, bro. You got to step up on him. There we go. Should have happened on the mid-range also. Would be that green light, but we will take that right there. Uh, Mitchell Robinson knocks it down. Very, very good stuff by him. Let's go under the screen a little bit. Beautiful. Switch over here. Rotate. And unfortunate. Goodness. Good dunk there. He got a mismatch there with Giannis on Drew Holiday, and he retakes the lead. Uh, push cross here. Let's get up the court drew holiday run the floor uh mitchell just stop and let's get the ball here again we're gonna push cross away he has to stay high is the one valuable thing and then we just caught him in rotation there so that's gonna be a wide open three um he has to stay high on mitchell robinson when i use him as a popper which allows me to get downhill with guys like lebron kobe uh and other slashers and get to that rim and then when i can do that i can either finish or create something for somebody else even if he doesn't actually give the pop up to mitchell robinson that's the value of him having a really good release and being a really good shooter there uh, attack downhill here and again I, I just i feel like 
didn't quite pop out as far as I wanted to there. Uh, we're going to reject the screen here, though, and I didn't mean to slip it, but I think I might get a dunk anyway. Wow, Mitchell Robinson dunking on Hakeem and LeBron. That's that 90 standing dunk, Gold Rise Up. He's got the ability to finish on the interior at a very high level. Re free throw release is also super smooth. Gold free points. Oh, yeah, he also got a free throw boost, so you're not going to have the issue you would, you would generally have with a Mitchell Robinson card of him not being able to shoot free throws because he got that free throw boost. Can we get a dang stop, though? That's a lucky animation right there. So tough. It is what it is. So there's a lot to like about that shooting upgrade because now he's a really good free throw shooter as well. You see the gold free points there flashing and he makes a play. Uh, and again, somebody's going to be open here. Okay, Kobe was open, but I waited too long. And I'm about to freaking quick slip this dude. To quick slip him. Nope, chill, 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 chill. Reset it. Reset it all the way out. What is going on? Yeah. I just got, I think I just inboxed his possession. Go up, Mitchell Robinson, and he doesn't hit the rim. If he had, it would have been his offensive rebound too. Nothing's really working my way this game, it feels like. Uh, he's gotten a couple of nice animations on some drives, made some contested layups, and um, I'm not getting the best animations right now. But that's okay. Mitchell Robinson with six points, I do actually think is playing really, really well. So um, good defense here, Mitch. Uh, just wall up Hakeem. This is exactly what you're here for, is to be able to compete on the interior against Hakeem, against Giannis. Like, this is the matchup that we have you in the game for that you this dude sucks i cannot stand how low skill this game is just walk around try to mash dudes throw back doors and it's skillful because three hunting is so garbage in this game uh it's so terrible and then that's a bad take by me i can't blame the game for that one i just don't enjoy playing this game sometimes because the way people play is just so garbage i don't know it is what it is he's trying to mash the team with freaking lebron like what am i watching right now um that is not a very good shot. He mistimed it pretty badly. It looked like early out on him, please. Thank you. Okay, so we have the ball. Minute 30 left. No need to be annoyed. We're down by one point. We can win this game and finish it out with Mitchell Robinson for sure. Going to go right back to my pick and pop, and I'm going to try to get downhill here. He's hard off balling. We know how these people play. They hard off ball. They back door. They do the same thing every single play, and it's more effective this year than it's ever been. But it is what it is because I think we can still beat him. Let's go. Good job. Co yeah. Every RNG animation. That's why I lose to these people sometimes. It really is because he's getting every RNG. Everything goes these dudes' way. It's crazy. Sitting on off ball the whole game and he's getting CPU blocks and stuff on Kobe. Driving wide open to the rim. Wide open pop again. Mitchell Robinson, please. Let's go, Mitch. Come on, man. Outplay Hakeem for me. Freaking go. Ruby Mitchell Robinson is usable online. 100%. He's 100% usable. I understand the speed is a little low, but the player build is there. It, it'll help you recover. He doesn't feel slow at all right now on the court. I'm not going to lie. Don't get backdoored here. Good D, Mitch. Oh, my. That's great defense. Why are they letting him hit contested layups? That's not an open. I have gold anchor and removal enforcer and post lockdown and all that stuff, bro. Like, that is so freaking garbage. You keep leaving me wide open. Please. Oh, my. No way. I, get I, don't, I, I literally don't believe that I didn't green that. So... All right, tie game. If I lose this game, I'll be so irked. I'm not going to lie. Because um, I am convinced this dude is terrible. Come on, Mitch. Strip the drop step. Strip the drop. I, I hit X as he drop stepped. That's how you strip a drop step. I timed it perfectly. And they gave him. Not only did they not strip the drop step. They just gave him an and one. Sometimes you're just meant to lose. This is one of those games, it looks like. And I guess that is what it is to a certain extent. Like, what am I going to do? Yeah, he gets every animation. This dude just has a, the god RNG, literally. It's pretty terrible. I, I, don't know what, I don't know what to tell you, to be honest. But it is what it is. Going to lose to an absolute bot. And that is a real shame. But that's also 2K for you. I am convinced this Mitch Robinson can 100% compete online. Regardless of losing this game, try not to be too annoyed. Like, if he, this dude does not deserve to win this game. And that's the unfortunate part about the way the gameplay is. Is you play these games. The games like this pretty often, which is a real shame. But, and I... <sighs> Like, I'm just convinced. I, apparently, I can't shoot. Apparently, I can't shoot wide open with Kobe. I don't know. It is what it is. Maybe I just suck. Whatever. Mitch Robbins is a really good card, but um, losing that game frustrates me. I still think he's really good. The efficiency wasn't quite where he needed to be. A couple of those takes were kind of bad shots, but I also missed a wide open three down the stretch. And it it is what it is. Sometimes you lose games you don't feel like you should lose. But um, very good budget card. No doubt about that. For 4,000 MT, I mean, he and Nick Clax are the two budget centers that I recommend everybody picks up if you're new to my team for salary cap, that type of stuff. Like, this this Mitchell Robinson is a really good card. So, hope y'all did enjoy the video. I apologize for my complaining. I hope y'all can overlook it. And if you did enjoy it, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.